This is the KRQE News 13 Sports Desk with Van Tate. Chester filling in for Van Tate. And we start tonight on the gridiron. As we told you, December 10th, that New Mexico State head football coach Doug Martin was being investigated by the university for misconduct against players and coaches. Well, more complaints have surfaced. And according to Las Cruces Sun Times, the office of the attorney general is getting involved. Coach Martin has denied these allegations with two new complaints surfacing, saying that Coach Martin is alleged to have made injured, injured student athletes wear orange clothing resembling those worn by inmates at a correctional facility and that he has threatened to revoke scholarships of players based on their inability to perform due, due to injury. Sometimes also reports that the athletic department and administration were made aware of these complaints but failed to act. All right, to the Diamond as former Moriarty fighting Pinto, Matt Moore has signed a new contract to pitch in Japan's Nippon Professional League. The left-handed hurler was reportedly signed to a one-year deal worth $3.5 million. Moore, who is now 30 years old, appeared in just two games last season for the Detroit Tigers before suffering a torn meniscus in his right knee. Moore is a former Cy Young candidate, and he has seen a rise in his velocity over the past couple of seasons. And over his MLB career, he holds a 4.51 ERA with 806. Six strikeouts. His season will start in late April and go into October in Japan. All right, to so high school basketball. Rio Rancho tipped off their holiday hoops tournament today with the host team taking on Cottonwood Classical in the first round. And the Rams jumped out early in this one. You see Jeremiah Morris get the bucket down low. Rio Rancho led by 16 at the end of the first quarter. You see Morris get another one to go in the paint. He finished with 16 points. The Rams roll in their tournament opener 83 to 36 in the final. They move, now move on to play the winner of this next game tomorrow. Hope Christian playing. Sandia Prep and the Huskies were just all over the Sun Devils today as Colin Evans gets the bucket off the inbound. That gave Hope a 15 point lead in the fourth quarter. And check out the ball movement later as Sean Martinez gets this nice bounce pass, the finish, and the foul to boot. He finished with a game high of 23 points. Hope Christian takes it 72 to 55. They will play Rayo Rancho in the semis tomorrow at 5 p.m. All right, it's the college ranks as global men's basketball is enjoying a much needed break before jumping back into action on Sunday. Coming off of a 107 88 victory this past weekend over Houston Baptist, UNM is riding a seven game winning streak and sits at 12 2 on the year. No more information has been released on the status of Carlton Bragg and JJ Caldwell and their indefinite suspensions. But no matter what, moving forward, this team is going to have to fill those holes left by them and definitely get more consistent on the defensive end of the floor before conference picks back up. We have always felt good about our offense. We have a very good offensive basketball team, statistically, uh, theoretically, practically. It's our defense that, that has to get to where it needs to get to to beat uh, a San Diego State, a Utah State, whoever these teams are that are you know ahead of us. We've got to grow defensively, and I think for 10 or so minutes in the second half, we showed that. We just have to find a way to do more of it. UNM will play UC Davis on Sunday at 2 p.m., their last game before tipping off the rest of their conference schedule. All right, to the Octagon. Albuquerque's own Holly Holm is looking to get back in the win column after losing to Amanda Nunez back in July. Holm will take on a familiar foe as the co main event of UFC 246 on January 18th, Raquel Pennington. Now, Pennington is the first victory Holm notched when she joined the UFC, which was a split decision back in 2015. She is ready for her first rematch ever in MMA, but with this fight being next month, how hard is it for Holly to train during Christmas and the New Year? It's more, not necessarily just the food, but it's just the people. They're all, they're all off of work and they're all, you know, doing things, hanging out, even just hanging out of the house, talking, and that's the hard part when you have to walk away from that and go to the gym, you know, and put the, the work in or go outside when it's cold and run and everybody else is kind of just hanging out. I guess it's just more of that, the events and the time to connect with people that you kind of have to say no to in order to stay focused. Home will look to improve her 12 and 5 professional record, taking on 10 and 7 Raquel Pennington on January 18th. And that fight will be inside the T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the Sports Desk. So until next time, good evening, good sports, and good night.